Okay, so quadratic word problems. So the first type here, uh, number seven, and the one on the next page, which is number 10 above what I call gravity questions. How do you know it's a gravity question? Well, a gravity question is when you have an object that goes up and comes back down. So here we have a ball that's being thrown upwards and they give you some information about it, but more, more importantly, they give you the quadratic equation, which is down here. Okay. So as I said before, whenever you get a gravity question, there are a few things that's important. One is where is the ball being released? We call that the initial height. And then it's going to reach to the maximum point and then it's going to come back down. So usually there are three pieces of information that's key. The starting point, the vertex, and the x-intercept. And the questions love to ask about those three places. So part A says, how many seconds, after how many seconds does the ball land on the ground? Round your answer to the nearest tenth of a second. Well, what does it mean by land on the ground? Land on the ground is going to be this point right there. So that's the x-intercept. And you guys know to find the x-intercept, you're gonna use the quadratic formula. Minus b plus minus the square root of b square minus four ac all divided by two a. So the b value is the number in front of the t Four times A, A value is the one in front of T squared. So it's negative 4.9. C value is the number by itself. In this case, it's the positive 1.5. All divided by two times A, which is two times negative 4.9. Now, did anyone do the math at home? What was the two answers? Or do you actually need me to take out the calculator slowly and wasting time to do this? Does anyone have the answers and want to share? No, nobody. Okay, so let me do it. 8.4 square. Minus four times 4.9 times 1.5. That's going to be square root of the answer. It's 9.99 or 10. So this becomes negative 8.4 plus minus a plus 10. The first one is plus. So plus 10 divided by negative 9.8. The second answer would be negative 8.4 minus 10. divide by negative 9.8. So the first answer is going to be a negative answer. The second answer is going to be a positive answer. So this is going to be one point. How many, how many digits did they ask for us? Uh, nears tenths. So this is about 1.9 seconds. The other one is 0 0.2, negative 0 0.2 seconds. Okay, so we want the positive answer. We don't want a negative answer. So the answer is 1.9 seconds later. Okay, so that's part A. Finding when the ball is going to land on the ground, which is right here. Part B of the question, find the maximum height to the nearest meter when the ball reach. So we're looking for the maximum height. Maximum height is going to be the vertex. Anytime they ask for maximum, we're talking about this point, which is right all the way up there. 
So how do we find the maximum height? To find the maximum height, we're gonna find the vertex. You can do complete the square, which I said is a little longer to do, or you can do the shortcut. Use minus b over 2a to find the p-value and then substitute to find the q-value. Okay, so let me copy and paste the question on the next page. Whoa, it's a little too big. And use the shortcut. So to find the shortcut, the p-value, which is the axis of symmetry, that's going to be minus b over 2a. So negative 8.4 divided by 2 times negative 4.9. So take out my calculator here. 8.4 divided by 9.8 is going to be 6 over 7, or roughly 0 0.86. OK. 6 over 7 is the exact fraction. I want to find the height. It's going to be negative 4.9 t squared plus 8.4 t plus 1.5. So negative 4.9, I'm going to use the answer button times answer squared plus 8.4 times the answer plus 1.5, and my calculator gives me 5.1 meters. So therefore, the maximum height is 5.1 meters. Okay, so gravity question. The initial height here is 1.5 meters. So that means the ball is thrown at a height of 1.5 meters. It's going to go up and reach the maximum height and then comes back down. If the question asks for when does it land on the ground, we're looking for the x-intercept. You can use the quadratic formula to find the answer. The first answer is going to be a negative time. You don't want that. You want the positive time. So in this case, it's 1.9 seconds. They can also ask for the maximum height, which is the vertex. To find the vertex, you can do complete the square, or you can use the shortcut. To find the axis of symmetry, you do minus b over 2a. That will give you the p-value. Sub the p-value back into the equation will give you the q-value. That's going to be the maximum height. 